This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. I am Ace Ramirez. Three distinguished Filipinas with exemplary contributions to the community are recognized at the Philippine Consulate in New York City. EBC's Joanne Blanco Soriano with the story. In celebration of International Women's Month, the Philippine Consulate General in New York hosted a panel discussion of distinguished Filipino women entitled, We Make Change Work for Women. Every year during International Women's Month, we, we honor distinguished Filipinas and Filipina Americans who you know, blaze trails in their respective fields and um, to really engage them in a conversation, to know their journey, their, their stories, their narratives. But also, um, we, we also want to inspire the next generation of uh, Filipina Americans to, to also think out of the box, go out of their comfort zones, and really dare to to dream and to accomplish uh, things which they feel they may not, you know, uh, be equipped to do, but they actually can do. Through laughter and tears, the honoree shared heartfelt stories of growing up, personal struggles, perseverance, and their roads to success. People often ask me, Virginia, what's the secret to your success? The truth of the matter is, there is no secret. I was smart, but I was never the smartest. But I will tell you, I was always one of the hard, hardest working students. This is the first life lesson I want to share with you. They say the heart is our most resilient muscle. One can measure intelligence, but one cannot measure the passion, the drive, grit a, pers a person brings to the table. What my own life has taught me is that hard work trumps intelligence any day. I've been here for 18 years. And my, have I grown. And I've realized uh, what a huge, huge responsibility I have with every word that leaves my lips. And I don't take that responsibility lightly, especially in the era of fake news. Do whatever it takes to sing and dance in your own way. Your dreams, whatever they may be, are your children's dreams, whatever, whatever they may be, are possible. I am proof of that. And I am still learning and growing and training. It is a huge honor. And I mean, you were in here, it was like waterworks galore. Because I sincerely am so proud of who I am and where I come from and everyone who is responsible for making me me. So my parents, um, who I adore, are hugely responsible for who I am, but also just knowing that it wasn't easy for me. You know, I didn't have, I, didn't, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I saw both sides of the tracks. I saw challenges not knowing if I could ever s succeed in this industry. Um, but I was able to do it because it was really in my heart and I was just driven to succeed and so here I am. As with other forms of media, from movies to television, what you see or read is in large part due to the gatekeepers who make the decisions. Over my 12 years in Penguin Classics, I have made conscious decisions to commission female scholars and novelists to feature women authors in our book series and in marketing and publicity campaigns that are to represent the very best of our titles. I don't know what Penguin Classics would look like if I was not in charge of the series, but I can say that it looks the way it does now because I pushed for more inclusion and not to represent a white male world's best literature, but the world's best literature. Women in my life of books have provided testaments of empathy and tolerance, but overall, they have proven time and time again that we are not alone. If we believe in that and bravely act upon it, especially as Filipino women, we are powerful. It is because of women like these who help pave the way to serve as inspiration for future generations of not only women, but also minorities to have hope for their future. This is Joanne Blanco Soriano for Eagle News reporting from the Philippine Consulate, and I am one with 25. Thanks, Joanne, and special thanks to the Philippine Consulate in New York. That is today's Eagle News, Washington, D.C. Join us tomorrow for stories that matter to you. Visit our website at eaglenews.ph, like us on Facebook, 
follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash eaglenewsph. Thank you for watching. I'm Ace Ramirez. I'm one with 25.